Hi! So for this uh, time lapse, I wanted to do a meet the artist of sorts and introduce myself and talk a little bit about me. Um, the painting I'm working on here is actually a somewhat of a self-portrait. I say somewhat because I feel like this painting is a lot nicer looking <laughs> um, than the real thing. And uh, just a little incentive for you to stick through this whole video. Uh, after I'm done painting, there will be a very dorky picture of my actual face, <laughs> so you can see uh, how well I did or how not well I did. I think <laughs> that the painting itself is nice, but I think it's a lot nicer than the real thing. So, uh, and that's typically the reason why I don't paint real people or people that I know, um, because if I paint something that I've entirely made up, there's nothing to compare it to. But I want it to have... Um, a representation of myself for all of my social media, so I figured it was about time to paint a self-portrait. I do like it. I am happy with how it came out. Uh, I think I might turn this into an annual thing, and maybe once a year I'll revamp it and uh, draw another picture of myself just to kind of see uh, how my art has evolved. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, but for now this is what I have. So a little bit about myself. Uh, for starters, uh, my name is Danae, so uh, I was named after a character, or I guess person, from Greek mythology, which explains a lot of my interests, um, even growing up. I always was into mythology and fantasy and stuff, and that was because of my name. Um, I've been painting, well not painting, I've been drawing since I was a little kid, literally like a little, little kid. I remember probably the first art piece I ever remember working on. I was in preschool, um, and the only reason I remember this is because my grandmother framed it and put it up on her wall. So I was about maybe two or three, and I drew a self-portrait, <laughs> and I wish I still had it, uh, but it was a circle with a face and some hair, and then it had your typical arms and legs, but what was really, uh, a proud moment for me as a child was I knew what knees were and so I knew that legs had knees so I drew two big old circles on the stick legs <laughs> and I was very proud of myself and apparently my family was proud of me too because my grandmother hung it up for everybody to see and from that point on I was the artist in the family <laughs> so a uh, big you know big shoes to fill from an early age um, now I definitely know what knees are, and I also know what elbows are, and wrists, and shoulders, and all the joints in the body. <laughs> so, we've come a long way since then. But yep, I've always been drawing uh, ever since, you know, I was little. Um, and it's just something I've never pursued it as a career. It's always been a hobby. Um, but I was always known as the, the artsy kid. Um, yeah, and I was that kid. I, I went to a really small... Uh, school growing up. We had a class of 25 kids from, you know, kindergarten up until eighth grade. So there weren't many of us to, you know, compete with. So I was the artsy kid. <laughs> um, so I always was winning all of the, you know, the contests and the competitions and always got the award for most artistic and all of that. That was just always kind of my identity. Um, and then, yeah, as I got older, I kept drawing uh, like most people my age, I'm, I'm in my 20s, <laughs> as of right now I am 26, uh, but like most people my age I eventually got into anime and that was a big game changer <laughs> artistically. Uh, I really adapted to that style, I loved it, I thought it was really cool with the big eyes and the crazy expressions and so uh, I drew a lot of anime and then I became known as the anime kid, <laughs> so I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Um, but I also think being uh, drawn to the anime style did have a lot of setbacks. Uh, once I went into high school, I got picked on a lot for being the anime kid and drawing a lot of anime. And uh, I had transferred to a new school. Uh, suddenly I wasn't in the, the class of 25 students that I had grown up with. I was the new kid in a new school. And the school itself was also really small, so everybody already knew each other, which made being the new kid even worse. And it was actually my first time ever being in public school. I was in a private Catholic school, literally from age two to age 15. <laughs> so uh, it, was a, it was an adjustment. I had never dealt with bullying before. And so uh, 
this school, I got picked on a lot and it really stung. And so I kind of stopped drawing for a while. I, I did, I, I quit drawing um, because I didn't want to get picked on. But yeah, I really regret that I let mean comments stop me from doing what I loved. Um, as a kid and a teenager, I always was reading comic books, not just anime. Um, I grew up loving X-Men and uh, Marvel and DC comics. I mean, you know, Teen Titans was a big thing, which also led into the, the anime thing. But I just always was a comic book kid, too. So one of my dreams was to draw comic books. And so then when I learned about anime, then I kind of <laughs> veered off into that. But I always wanted um, to do that that kind of, of thing. And so I do regret it um, that high school took me away from that. I ended up not going to art school. Um, I decided to pursue film instead. And that didn't work out. <laughs> um, I ended up, I didn't graduate college. I just was doing everything for all the wrong reasons, I think. I was still trying to, as most kids find out, you're, you're trying to find your place in the world, and it's kind of hard to decide what you want to do when you have so many outside influences pushing you in different directions. So I ended up not uh, graduating from college. Um, I ended up never going to art school. I actually just work in an office now. <laughs> I have a regular adult job, but I do, I, I obviously I paint uh, on the side as a hobby and I love it. I'm glad that I eventually picked it back up. Um, I haven't been painting with watercolors for very long, only a couple of years, um, like less than three years at this point or around three years. Um, and I think now as an adult, I'm finally coming into my style of art. Um, that's something that has changed, you know, throughout my entire life, which is normal. That's something every artist goes through. Um, how you draw, obviously how you draw as a two-year-old, isn't how you're going to draw as a 20-year-old. Um, and so I kind of pick and choose what stuff I liked about my old art and kept it and evolved it. And that's how I got to my current style. Um, I think it'll still change over time. There are parts of it that I'm really happy with and parts that I think could be a little bit better. So that's something that's, you know, always changing. Overall, I'm, I'm very happy with where I am uh, right now in my art style. Uh, watercolors, I think, were a big game changer for me. They finally gave me that sense of art that I always wanted as a kid. Um, when I was, I remember in, I think it was the second grade, <laughs> Uh, I had put in my little class journal that I wanted to move to Paris and become a famous French artist because as a child I thought that being a French artist, only the only requirement was that you painted and lived in France. <laughs> so uh, now I paint <laughs> and it just, it, it, I love it. It gives me all of the, the fun sense of art enjoyment that I wanted as a kid. So I'm very happy that I uh, found that as an adult. Um, and since this is a self-portrait that I'm working on, I thought it was a great way to practice drawing hair. Um, as I've talked about in other videos, flowy hair is my favorite thing to illustrate and work on. I love it. I love the detail. I love all the curves and the lines, and it's just very relaxing to me. And as you'll see at the end of this video, and I'm sure as you've seen every time my head <laughs> leans under the camera, I have very curly hair. So that was a fun opportunity for me to use something that's such a steeple point of my appearance and, you know, my identity. I have really long hair. Uh, sometimes my friends will call it my mermaid hair because it is, it's really long, it's really curly and like that loose wavy kind of way, so that was a really fun uh, thing for me to get to draw. I did have some uh, problems with it, as you'll see in this time lapse. Um, my hair is a lot darker than it came out in this painting, and that's because the paints I was using, it just, the colors weren't working the way I thought they were going to, which always happens every time I paint. There's always some setback with the colors, 
and I worked it a lot and I kept layering and kept layering and I could have kept going to make it darker uh, but at some point <laughs> it was getting frustrating and I wanted to stop working on it while I was still enjoying it. I didn't want this painting to turn into a chore um, and I think it came out well. I mean you could still see all of the details in the hair which I think worked out better and you know it doesn't have to be perfect. It's an artist rendering of myself so <laughs> but my hair is a lot darker uh, than this portrait would imply. <laughs> Nothing is ever gonna be perfect and that's something that I have learned a lot uh, as an adult painting. <laughs> uh, I think as a kid that would have driven me crazy. All of the details and nothing working out the way I wanted to and I was always that kid that would quit halfway through a drawing and like crumple it up and throw it across my room <laughs> and now I've learned um, nothing is ever gonna be perfect and it's okay to keep working at something if you're not liking the end result just keep working at it. It's okay to stop working on a piece but it's also okay to uh, post something or finish something that you don't think is, you know, your best work. That's okay too. Uh, so that's something, you know, that I've, I've learned along the way. Um, in case you couldn't tell by this painting, my favorite color is purple. <laughs> uh, purples, blues, and pinks, and black. That is, those are, those are my steeple colors. Um, I don't wear a lot of color which is hilarious because I paint with a lot of bright colors, but I don't, I, I wear black and gray. <laughs> but yeah, and I wanted to paint something that I think represented me, not only in just my face, <laughs> but something that represented my art. And so I asked on my Instagram, what are some things that make people think of my art? And people said, um, the way I draw hands, uh, flowy hair, and you know, space, galaxy, watercolors. So that's why I wanted to put all of those elements into this painting and make it as me as it could possibly be. Uh, somebody <laughs> commented on this in a nice way, it was a friend of mine, commented on it saying that the hands, the fingers looked really small on the drawing <laughs> and I had to tell them, um, yeah, that's on purpose because I'm a very small person and my fingers are <laughs> very small and chubby and toddler-like. Um, I am not tall. <laughs> I'm only 5'3". Uh, um, if you're not in America, I'm about 160 centimeters, I think is, is what it is. So I'm, I'm not tall. I, you know, can't see the top of the refrigerator. Sometimes I have to climb on countertops to get to the top shelf, that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> so that's another fun thing about me. Another fun fact, um, and I think that this picture uh, interprets it a lot better than in real life, but one of my odd jobs that I had uh, recently as an adult was I was a character for hire, meaning that I was a Disney princess, but not through actual Disney. Uh, I worked for a local uh, costume uh, character company. And so in case you couldn't guess where this is going, uh, I was a princess. <laughs> I worked at kids' birthday parties, but I also worked at charity events and local fundraisers, and I was Moana. <laughs> um, that was really fun. It was a great opportunity. I really enjoyed meeting all of the kids and getting to, you know, see their faces light up and be a princess. Um, I think that's something fun everybody should <laughs> have to, the ability to experience at some point or another is just making a kid's day. Uh, I only did that job for less than a year. Um, I had some medical problems that stopped me from doing it. Uh, so I had to quit, um, but it was it was a great experience, it was a great opportunity, and it's like one of my, every time I meet somebody new and they say, oh, well, tell me something interesting about yourself, I'm like, oh, well, I was a professional princess, <laughs> so that's not something uh, that you get the chance to to hear on a daily basis, but it was, it was a fun part uh, of my life. I don't really have too much to say about myself. Um, I don't particularly consider myself a very interesting person. Uh, I haven't really done too much. I'm still young-ish. <laughs> um, I haven't, you know, done too many things. I work a normal, a normal job, um, and I just, you know, paint on the side. I don't really consider myself as an artist, um, and I think that's just because I do this as a hobby. Um, it is something very important in my life. But it's not something that I really um, 
introduce myself as when I'm talking to people. I don't say, oh, you know, hi, uh, I am a painter. I'm an artist. <laughs> it's not something that I don't see myself doing. Um, I think if the opportunity happened, I would absolutely love to find a way to do this as my everyday. Um, I think that would be amazing if the opportunity ever presented itself. But as for right now, I'm happy just doing this uh, on the weekends and in the evenings, just for my own uh, personal reasons. So that is me. I hope you like learning a little bit about myself. And here is the finished piece. And as promised, here is me. As always, thank you for watching.